Hey babes, so today I'm going to show you guys how to take down your individually crocheted handmade faux locks. Why is that so long? <laughs> um, some of you guys requested a video saying that you wanted to see how I take them down. So this is a new set that I put in. It's more of like a large roster set and I hope that you enjoy the tutorial. So for this install, I only use 40 locks, but this isn't about the install. Um, just to show you guys, I did go ahead and um, accessorize some of the locks before I put them in. So here's a shot of that. So I'm looking crazy. I took most of my hair down. I'm just going to show you guys how you remove them. So let me move the rest of the hair out of the way. Now I'm going to start in the middle. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, start in the middle. And first you want to just scrunch the hair that you added to cover your hair up. And then you want to separate it and kind of just trim it a bit. And you just want to unravel it. It's really easy. Like it's way easier than taking down a whole lock. You kind of just got to go with the flow and try to get that hair off. And if you need to, go ahead and trim as you go. Just make sure you're not cutting your real hair. Okay, now that you got that off, you can just kind of pull it out. That one came out too easy. I'm going to show you guys another one just because it's not always going to be that easy. And I don't want it to look like I'm not really showing you guys the real, you know? So you're gonna scrunch it up just to kind of separate it from the pre-made lock and then you want to separate a piece of it and trim it just to give you a starting place to unravel because it's hard to unravel where you burnt it so now I'm just gonna work with it unravel unravel it might look like I'm being rough but I'm not really being that rough it's just that you can kind of tell how hard you can pull your own hair on my clients I wouldn't be as rough but yeah you're just gonna kind of pull it off unravel it Now that you got it off, <clears throat> you want to pull off the excess hair that might be on the lock just because you want it to be like cute and smooth like it was when you first got it. And then you just kind of unravel your hair. And then now that you have them separated, you're just going to slip the lock off of your hair. And then put it in a pile and you can reinstall them later. Alright, so last one, we're just going to scrunch it up and do the exact same thing. trim off any excess hair and then just separate your hair unwrap it from the lock and then pull the lock out so now I have all my locks out sometimes I'll just wash my hair from there but instead I took them down and just kind of wore it as a braid out And this is the final look guys. So if you want to order your own custom set, you can go to my website, which is in the link in the description bar. You can also order the faux lock bob set there. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and like the video. <laughs> um, also subscribe, please. And if you have any questions or concerns or maybe a request, comment below. Thanks.